God bless you. Today's encouraging word comes from the book of 1 Timothy chapter 2. And we'll begin reading at verse number 8. And it says, I will therefore that men pray everywhere, lifting up holy hands without wrath and doubting. In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel with shamefacedness and sobriety. Amen. Uh, I will say this once, amen, and some will be upset about it, uh, but that's okay, amen. Uh, um, the Lord wants to speak to the ladies of the house, amen, the ladies of the church, amen. Um, and, and the word that the Lord has for uh, some out there today is this. Cover it up, loosen it up, and let it down, amen. Uh, what does that mean? God is saying that there are... Too many women in the church who are showing far too much in the way of cleavage, amen. You need to cover it up, amen. Uh, cover it up. Uh, uh, it is a truth, amen, that your cleavage does not belong on display in the house of the Lord, amen. Uh, that is not the place for it, amen. Uh, so the Lord is saying, cover it up, amen. It, it doesn't represent him well. Uh, and I understand that, uh, that there are so many women in the world who don't know the Lord who dress in such a fashion. But you're not a woman of the world, amen. You're a woman of the word, amen. And you represent the Lord, the God of all creation. He's a God of excellence and a God of holiness, amen. And, 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 those types of outfits uh, with the plunging necklines and things like that do not represent God well. And God is saying, cover it up. Amen. And there's yet another reason why you need to cover it up. Amen. Because there are yet brothers in Christ around you who are endeavoring to live a life of purity of heart and of mind. And those types of things are not helpful to your brother. Amen. So the Lord is saying unto you today, cover it up. Amen. But God is also saying to some, amen, loosen it up, amen. In other words, that dress or that skirt, those pants, amen, are too tight, amen. Uh, you're not a size five anymore, amen. Uh, you might have been a size five three years ago, uh, size five three years ago, but if you're not a size five now, amen, uh, those pants and that skirt and that dress, doesn't belong on you today, amen, uh, loosen it up, amen, give up, give away the size five and the size three that you used to wear, amen, and, and allow the Lord to take you uh, to Lord and Taylor, to Macy's or wherever, and, and, and get you something that fits you today, amen, um, uh, you can yet be attractive without having to have every curve and Lord knows every bulge showing, come on somebody, amen, loosen it up, but God is also saying, let it down. And what he's saying there is that skirt, that dress is too short. Amen. Uh, it's, 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 it's far above the knee when you're standing. And where do you think it goes when you're sitting? Amen. And yet uh, you have the, the boldness and the temerity to want to sit on the front row. Amen. Uh, and don't even have uh, one of those nice little handkerchiefs or napkins covering your knees. Amen. Uh, come on, somebody. Let everything be done decently and in order. And it's time out for the church to act like the world. We shouldn't dress like the world. We shouldn't talk like the world. We shouldn't dance like the world because we are a peculiar people. Amen. We belong to God. And this is not about picking on women. Amen. But the Lord wants to speak to his ladies on this morning. Amen. Because he wants to remind you, you are virtuous women of God. Amen. You belong to him and, and, and everything that you do and the way that you conduct yourself should be uh, consistent with the great woman of God that you are. Amen. There are some who are going to be upset at, uh, at this and that's, that's quite all right. Amen. Because the Lord knows that we don't come into this place in this space, amen, to, to, to please man, amen, but we rather please the Lord. And on this day, we're yet believing that his will was done, and we pray that someone has heard him. God bless you. Until next time, be encouraged, and know that Jesus loves you, amen, and his love never fails.
Just one more day.